back to KJ Studios and we're going to chase and get stuff. Today we'll be messing around with the CMD application, but if you, um, I'm going to throw this out here right now, that if you have, or I mean, if you want to run a single command, just go uh, start CMD. If you want to run a full uh, pr like program, basically, using CMD, you got to go into Notepad, so that's what I'm on right now. Just go to Notepad and follow along with me, and we'll get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing here is typing CLS that will clear the screen. And then we're going to go uh, colon start, or you can even name it like cookies or something. So let's just go cookies to change it up a little bit. And then we'll go uh, ping www.bean.com. It doesn't really matter. You can do any website. And then go to cookies. And if I can actually remember, guys, um, hold on a sec. If I can remember... We uh, did a like well Riley did anyway when he he's in Washington right now but he he was also at the Washington time when he did this video of uh, the Sims thing it was a command mode prompt video uh, I'm just gonna uh, save the file but anyway it was like um it's a command mode prompt video that does the Sims thing I'm just trying to show more stuff off and you know do all that good stuff. So you can name the file whatever you want, just make sure you have the save as type in all files and you want the extension to be .bat. So instead of being .txt, do .bat. Okay, and we're going to save it and then we're going to boot up the application. So just search what you named it for in the Windows area and it should appear. Once it appears, we'll open it. Okay, sorry guys, I got to go into the actual folder. I'll be right back and we'll get started with more stuff. Okay guys, I am back, and essentially what's going on here is just looping a, uh, it's basically loading bean.com without actually going to the, like, an actual web browser, so you won't be able to see bean search results or the homepage or whatever, or whatever, so, basically this is just a loop, um, it's pretty cool, it, it's, it's not really much sense, but it's, uh, it just kind of just does that, and, if you do it a lot, like maybe on a less secure website or a less popular one, it might throw it off and you could probably actually crash the website. It'll be like overloaded with uh, search, uh, with people searching it, which is just one computer, just one application actually. You can actually use, you can actually do, um, you can use CMD for hacking. Uh, if you, if you, uh, if you want to know, but I probably won't do that here. You can look it up. Ooh, I actually didn't know it get lost. There's 50% loss on bean.com on one of those and that's basically just packets so the packets just tell you like like if if, it, if the website's up or and running or if it's down and then the bytes uh, essentially tell you uh, how fast it connected to the website so I, I just think it's a pretty cool thing to share it's not really too important it's just it's just something that if you got like a lot of time in your hands or if you're like you super bored or something just kind of type this in and be like oh let's just watch it you know load this web page up a million times or something <laughs> anyway guys okay that was basically what that uh, command or program had to offer now there's much more trust me so I'm just gonna adjust our webcam I mean our desktop angle here we're gonna get rid of all this or actually go to let's delete the go to cookies now, okay, I gotta remember here. Um, you should be able to set p, yeah, p um, equals set p to be percent something. Per okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Let's not do that command. It it would be really cool because uh, I. I need to help with that command because if we knew how to do that command, which I I do, it's just I I can't think of the right uh, right uh, correction uh, grammarize onto the command. But if you did it correctly, you would be able to type into the and be like a search area on CMD where you could go to another program. So I pretend I typed in the command. So blah blah blah. That was the command. I go over here like a couple uh, like. Double space, basically. Enter, 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 and we just put uh, chocolate or something. Like make this sweet, and then it would go to chocolate, and then we do another command or something. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that right now. So we're just gonna go 
delete this whole thing. We'll keep cookies.bat or whatever you named it if you want to. Otherwise, you can just overwrite the, with a new command. So, um, this one's going to be really simple actually. We don't need any starts or anything like that. We're just going to do shutdown slash i. I believe that's how you do it. Oh, I need, I need forgot the t. Let's get the t in there. Okay, shutdown slash i. It essentially just uh, it's a ro remote shutdown uh, program. It's really simple, and if you want to leave the CMD running, just put pause down, and it will run. Like it will keep it running. Okay, we're gonna go. We're just gonna overwrite it. I'm going to anyway. You can do a different save file, but I'm just gonna overwrite it for the sake of for the sake of this video, so uh, it's more time efficient. We're gonna go cookies that bad again. We're gonna run it, and. We'll wait until it, until it loads. If it takes too long, I'll just pause the video, but it should load pretty quickly. There we go, okay. Let me just take it over here. Okay. So, it's a little slow, but it should, yeah, there we go, the remote shutdown dialog. And it's it's just a, a way to shut down the computer. I, I really shouldn't do this right now because it would be messing up the video. But essentially, you just want to enter your computer username. Just go to the to your like your the Windows logo, and you click on that. And then on the very top, you should say like your username. If that's on old computers on Windows 10, you just go right-click this PC, and yeah. Then you can look up for more information. But anyway, uh, you type in your username. So for example, just the username, and it does work. This actually does work. And it's 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 another one of these commands that are like basically, okay. Let me get this straight. Most of these commands are going to be if you're super bored, and then you just and you have like nothing to do, just type this in and have fun with it. So computers username. It, that's not really what you want to put. You want to put your actual computer username in there. But um, you can restart it. You can shut down, or you can um, annotate an unexpected shutdown. So it's like this. It wasn't supposed to happen, or whatever. So we're just gonna put like I don't know, shut down. Warn users on the action. Display warning for three. Yeah. So we can. You know, like 60 seconds or something you can do multiple computers too as long as they're connected to like the same Wi-Fi or something like that and they have like remote desktop uh, enabled okay um, you can do other like or if you want if it was like it's planned so let's see um, if you want to do like maintenance then that would be perfectly fine this is going to do an update for your PC no worries, there isn't a virus. Something like that. Uh, it's really cool. I'm not gonna press OK because I just, just to make sure it doesn't restart uh, this computer, shut down the computer. So I'm just gonna cancel it. But it really does work. You should give it a try, and then see it runs pause command, so it won't close it. Because otherwise, if you didn't have pause, I'm just gonna show you an example. If you didn't have pause in there, what would happen is if we go ahead and save this again. What would happen would be it would it would just after it run the shutdown command it would be just closing CMD. Uh, it's pretty basic. You know what I'm talking about. Um, most likely I'm just gonna show you just just be, just because you know. Um, we're gonna run it here and wait for it to load again. Good thing this has music because I hate I hate like videos that are so cringy because they don't have like they either don't have music and are really boring and yeah. Um. Where did it go? Right here, okay. So this is the remote shutdown that I like, we just cancel it because it runs the command and then it's just gonna wait, bam. You don't even do anything, it just shuts shuts CMD down because it's too, because uh, there isn't a command to stop it. It will just do it. Okay. So, hmm, I'm trying to think of another one, guys. Oh yeah, this is, this is a, a really simple command. This is just a command, basically. But you really wanna make sure you put add echo off. Uh, yeah, add echo, add echo off, and then you want to clear the screen, and then you want to go echo, make sure you have the colon in there. Uh, say something like, I like pie. Or, yeah. And then you can pause it, and then you can go echo, and that is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, question mark. Doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to pause it again, and then... We'll exit. 
And yeah, so we're gonna save it again. Let's go ahead and save. We'll run this sucker. Cookies that bat. Okay, I'm gonna do like one more after this and then we'll end the video. Yeah, make sure if you want part two, you gotta you gotta like it and subscribe. And comment. Anyway, uh, I actually wanted to do I wanted to say this too. Uh, thank you so much guys. Uh, we got a bunch of subscribers today. We got like 20 something and so far and that is awesome because uh, I This makes sense and the more frequent we upload the more you guys like it because I mean more content the better right? Who doesn't and yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for that uh, so yeah, I like pie is up here and I'm just gonna press space and that is pretty cool I guess because the pause separates I like pie and that's pretty cool I guess because uh, here's what would happen if we didn't have the pauses in it. You could probably already guess, but oh wait, no, we'll keep this. Yeah, we'll keep this pause in here. In the exit, okay. But if we got rid of this pause right here, uh, we'll also get rid of add echo off. Uh, it really messes up this whole application. You may not think it would, but it actually does. So we're just gonna save it. So this is gonna do two things. It's gonna affect two things on this. Um, application because of it being uh, two commands off of it it will repeat itself and it will get like the this see right here I don't like it because see users of KTR zero and blah 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 I like pi it says echo I like pi like what the command said in there and then it will be like I like pi it echoes it because that's what an echo is it just it repeats itself but if you have the echo, add echo off it uh, doesn't repeat the command it just uh, it just doesn't want without the annoying C or like the yeah and then it goes C uses that's pretty cool I guess and you see how I didn't press space once that's because there's no pause it just runs in one one uh, one go and the pause just separates commands from each other it's a command that separates commands essentially and then exit it exits it okay so you can also make like a quiz game on here. I won't be doing that in this episode, but remember to like and subscribe and we can do that. Um, let's just do one more for the fun of it. Let's go ahead and do... Um, oh yeah, you can change your password. And this is really convenient. Um, you can do this by... Net... Putting, uh, okay, let's CLS. Net user. And then... Pause. So... We're gonna save it and then we're gonna go back in to cookies that bad. Um, but yeah. So let's just minimize the the file explorer. That doesn't need to be there. <sighs> okay, net user. User accounts for laptop, blah 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 blah. The administrator account, um, and then the guest account. Okay, so we got the administrator, right? So what we can actually do here is let's press space we can get rid of the pause right here and we can go up here net user administrator okay and then the heuristic okay then we're gonna pause it so this should uh you'll see this is gonna be really cool I'm not going to tell it to you guys because I want I want to be a surprise. It is kind of like hacking because you you can do this like basically on any computer. Okay, see net user administrator and then heuristic password for the user. It changes the password of the profile you select, and I'm not and it does require administrator administration. So if you're not on the admin account of a computer, it won't it will not work. But you can still access the command. So um, I uh, you just type in a random password here. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I want to be a password I remember, just in case if this is my default uh, uh, user cookies. And it will not put like any heuristics or anything. It's completely secure in terms of, I mean, hacker hacking goes. Okay, and then you got to do it. Yeah, you got to make it perfectly what you first typed in, and then we did it. See, access is denied. It won't allow you to do it unless if you have access to the administrator account or something like that. And that's that's it's convenient if you are an administrator to this like um, 
application and it, it, it really does it's 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 i'm sorry i'm stumbling but it's really 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 convenient um if you want to hack i mean that's for hackers anyway i don't really use it because i'm not a big fan of uh changing passwords on computers using a hacking way um but and it's system air 5 so that's that's nothing to worry about it's just it won't allow you to do it and it just told you like system air 5 was it was access is the night you can't access it but I think I'm going to end this video here, guys. It's, it's, it's been a good episode. I think so, anyway. Um, we learned... I hope you learned some stuff. Um, it's pretty basic. This is actually really basic uh, programming skills. It's really easy to learn. It doesn't... It's not rocket science. I know... <laughs> it, it, might, it might look like it, but really just... Once you learn, it, it only takes you like a day. No joke. Less than a day to even learn how to do... How to do a lot of this stuff. And, uh... Again, it's really convenient, and I'm gonna just try one more thing here, uh, just because I want to see if it, if it, if the administrator was because, if the administrator didn't work because it was an administrator account, it won't change the administrator. But now I want to test out this. So if we go to net user, and we put guest, was that guest? I'm pretty sure it was a guest, and then aristic. Is aristic right there? Okay. Then we're gonna pause it. Actually, let's get rid of the pause. You don't need the pause. The pause is just to stop it after the command is run. Because the this is actually one powerful command right here. This is just one command that has a lot of information. So we're going to go to cookie step out again. Have it load up. Alright. So we got the command running right here. Nothing is happening. Okay, there we go. Type a password for the user. We'll go cookies again. Cookies. Okay, access is still denied. Okay, guys, that was a, a I mean, a test for that. Uh, yeah, you can you know, always like, subscribe, and give me a nice, good comment if you want more of this stuff and more videos in general. Actually, because the more you subscribe and like, the more content we have. Uh, that's also a great support. Um. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with KG Studios again. And don't say, okay. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, sticking around. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And uh, sorry for, like, the background right here. But, yeah, three, two, one, cut.